Thank you, Matthew, for calling. Sam Property, pay attention. When you do your drill, lift your feet up. In an imp-like manner, not a soldier-like manner. Stand easy and pay attention. I'm Philip Garland, I'm 12 years old. At last, I'm a member of the Dockland Thunder Rimps. I've wanted to be in the motorbike display team since I was three. Last December, once I'd been accepted for training, I was told that to go down the docks. My dad's a cab driver and he took me in his cab. I was a bit nervous because I didn't know anyone except Demis, because he used to go to my school. Is that it? A lot of bikes in there. And when I got there, I, I sort of thought, will I be good enough? Because I've never rode before. And I hadn't thought of that before I joined the team. Oh, hello there. Can you come on in and go through there? I'll be with you in a minute. They gave me my crash helmet, my breeches and my tunic, and my belt for the shows. And I had to get my own goggles, gloves, boots and socks. What we're actually doing is pulling away and stopping. Just gently pull away six to ten feet and then stop. Roy well, runs the imps and he hasn't got time to teach every person individually. So he's organised watch leaders so they can do the job. And Roy's got a bit more time to help the individuals that haven't quite perfected what they're supposed to do. Oh, out. Where you go? But not white lock. Don't lock the handlebars. Go and keep going, Philip. Philip, turn a bit tighter than that. When they told me I had to have a big bike, I thought they was joking, because I thought, no way will I be able to handle a bike of this size. But I was told different ways to handle it. After that, I found it easier. When you pick the bike up, you have to turn this hand, so it's facing the bike, put out, get the other hand underneath the mud guard, get up to your knees, to your waist and upright. Let's have a go at that. Okay. We were taught all the controls and safety. I know it's important, but I just couldn't wait to get on the bike. Mount your machine, get onto your machine. The instructor will hold it up for you. Left hand, pay attention this way, on the clutch. Now it's nice and heavy, pull it right into the handlebar and hold it in. The controls were all basic, really, but it's very difficult to learn how to use them, first of all. And after a few sessions, I didn't think I was going to get any better. And I, I was close to giving up, but my mum and dad just kept telling me to keep trying. So I did, and I got better as time went on. When I say stop, I said, hey, don't, don't let go of the clutch. Now, 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 pull it in. Yeah. Now, 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 pull it in. Team, ho! Dressing, right, dress! Now I've finished my basic training. I'm ready to go on to the harder training to be a member of the team. Team, I punch. Stand up. E. Attention. Team. Team. Ho. Stand still. Gonna fall out. Team, fall out. After our basic training in the Docklands, we go to Kent in the holidays to live there in a boarded school because we've got a big field area that we can train on so we've got bigger space to do tricks and practice formations.
I see the older boys riding about over rough ground in the woods, I think that I'm never going to be like that. But I hope one day I'll be as good as them and I'll be as confident. We do the cross-country runs about seven o'clock in the morning. Imps organised in five different groups called Watches. Each group has about four members. The Watches have to race each other, and that way it makes it more enjoyable. Roy started the team, and he's still running it, and it wouldn't exist without him. He's very strict, and also, I like him because he's a laugh sometimes. Max is Roy's dog, and he goes with us everywhere. He's quite an old dog and he has a bit of trouble keeping up with us when we're running. Quick! Tuck in! Come on, you've got to wake up. You must go as soon as the whistle goes. Pay attention. When we're training, we spend a lot of time learning how to fall. That's important because if another bike comes along when we fell off, it could come and run us over. If we curl up in a tight ball, they've got less chance of hitting us and more chance of seeing us. OK, today we're going to consider some of the other aspects of being a member of a motorcycle display team. That is the first and most important aspect of safety. And the three rules that I want you to remember, if you forget everything else, are these. Our first responsibility is to members of the public. That's people outside of the team, whoever they are. Our second responsibility is to our teammates, to ensure that we don't hurt them or cause a hazard for them. And last but not least, is to care for yourself, safety for yourself. The first time I went on the dirt track, I felt excited because you can skid round the corners and spray up dirt. And it's completely different from riding on concrete because it's much harder to handle. The older boys were going over the ramp. I was, like, frightened because I didn't think I'd be able to land properly in the loose dirt, so like, I didn't do it then. We have a game called Mounted PE. It's like a relay race on motorbikes. Besides being fun, it teaches us things like balance and to react quick. Actually, at the jump, you, then you're worried about whether you're going to be able to lift it or not. This is my first time. Like, my belly felt funny, but I think it should go. Everyone's told me it will. Okay, thank you. When we're training, we have to stay away from home a lot. But I like that because it gives you experience. Because you've got to do everything yourself, you've got to be completely independent. So it gives you experience to get on with the other boys. 
without having your parents around. <laughs> the only things I don't like is the um, kit cleaning where you have to clean your bikes, your boots, the crash helmet, things like that. It just like sort of boring but it's got to be done. I watch through the Stuart Bettis and you have to make sure that our skill on the bike's up to standard and that we do everything properly. Yeah. You can you can get it no one's sure that you will be in the team yet, but if you keep on doing your best and trying, I think you will get in the team. About this time of every course, we have to talk to people like yourself and John Hawkins and see how we're going. We've got to make a decision as to whether you're going to ride in the formation team for this year. You've done pretty well, but I've got a few concerns. Um, the most important one is your speed of reaction. So you've got to concentrate more. When Roy asked me for a talk on my own, I thought I'd completely blown it. I just felt, you know, like sort of crying, but I couldn't cry. But I, I just thought everything had gone wrong, that I wouldn't have a chance. Now, it's up to you. You've got to push. You've got to push very hard. You've got, what, 24 hours now to get it together before we make a decision. We make a decision purely on the basis, are you safe to be there? I think you can be, but you're not just yet. You're not there, all right? On the last day of training, things weren't going that well. Everything seemed to be going wrong for me. But I kept trying my best and I wasn't sure whether I was going to get in the team. First show this year is going to be at the Truck Festival in Peterborough. I'm really looking forward to it and I hope I'll be able to ride. The white helmets are an adult army display team. We often meet them at big shows, and they're not our rivals because we're children and they're adults. We get them well together, and we borrow each other's tricks. As quick as you can, and then you've got to stay with your body weight. Does any of you do one on the side like that? I knew it was in a team when we went up to Peterborough, but Roy only tells you what you're doing that day because he doesn't want you to worry about things like the fire jump overnight. So, can you move up? And you drop out, would you like to go over to an ST? Okay, there's your bike, don't you normally ride there? No, no, take his. Right, now pay attention, fire jump line is D. The first when Roy told me I was going to do the fire jump, I was really happy and excited. One, because I always wanted to do the fire jump, and two, because it was such a big show and my mum and dad was watching. But I was nervous about going actually through the fire.
wasn't wearing her uniforms at Peterborough that day because it was wet and rainy. So we wore them wetsuits in case we fell off. We'd done it in our bright red tunics. We'd spoil them. started off to go through the fire jump. I was a bit nervous. I wanted to go slow and careful, but I knew I couldn't do that. So I had to really go fast. The faster I went, I knew the better I'd do. When I landed, I felt great. We get peaks for our helmets when we become full members of the team. I got my peak presented to me by the leader of the White Helmets. I hope one day you'll be getting a White Helmet in the Royal Singles cap badge on the front to come and join us in the Royal Singles White Helmets. Well done, there's your peak. After all the work that people had put into helping me get into the team, I felt really proud of myself and happy because that's what I've always wanted to do. I know I'm not as good as the others, but I hope one day I will be.